everyone. So I am Mekha Raji, clinical psychologist. I am going to talk on overthinking today. From the last few sessions, I have been seeing most of my clients talking about overthinking as one of their primary symptoms. And many of them requested me to actually come up with something more creative on it so that they can see it on a day to day basis. So this is for all of them. According to me, let's start with overthinking is basically thinking about some past situation repeatedly for too long or over a period of time. This is basically either ruminating about the past or thinking too much about the future. Like what will happen in the future, how will I do, if there is an exam tomorrow, will I be able to pass or not. So overthinking involves all of them. Now coming to some of the signs of overthinking. How do you know that you are overthinking? You are constantly dwelling on past events or situation. Like you are spending days thinking about an event. For example, you had an interview. So you are constantly thinking that if I could have given another answer. Or maybe if a boss was a little bit kinder to me. And you repeatedly recreate the situation in your mind. And think if it could be better. Second guessing decisions you have made. You have already made a decision not to go to a particular holiday or not to meet a friend today and throughout the day you are thinking if I would have decided otherwise, if I actually would be in Goa today. So actually you are not there but you are just thinking about it and wasting your time replaying your mistakes in your mind. We all do mistakes but the problem happens when we keep on thinking about it and keep on wishing from inside I hope I will do this. Rehearsing challenging or uncomfortable conversations. Maybe you had a challenging conversation with your boss. Or maybe tomorrow you are going to sit for an important negotiation meeting with your authority. So you are constantly thinking what will you talk, what will they say. But the fact is you really don't know what topic is going to be brought up tomorrow. You don't know in the interview what will it be asked. But you constantly keep on thinking about it. Fixating on things you can't control, change or improve. I think all of us do that. There are certain situations which is out of our hand. Like uh, I know some of the students of board exam, they were constantly coming to me and telling that if we had a board exam in 2021, maybe my performance would be better than grading system. But the fact is that it was a decision taken by the board which you can't control. Imagining the worst case scenario or outcome. So you have an exam tomorrow or interview. Even before sitting for it, you have already assumed I am not going to get the job. So I will be jobless again. How will I manage my finances? The fact is interview is still there tomorrow and you still have 50% chances of cracking it. But you have already made up your mind that no, this is not going to work out. Following your worries out of the present moment and into an unchangeable past or unforeseeable future. That is what we are doing. Mindfulness always that combat overthinking says that we cannot go back to the past and change an event. Neither we can go to the future and know the event. So sensible thing is to do is to be in the present moment, enjoy the moment or maybe make the maximum out of the moment. Run your list while trying to fall asleep. Most of us say we don't get sleep but actually it happens because during the night time, we think of all the worries under the earth, all the to-do list. We just fail to realize that this is our sleeping time. And thinking about it, we are not going to pop up out of the bed and do it. So this is overthinking. So I would like to summarize it in a quote. Actually, overthinking is an art of creating new problems out of ones that never existed in the first place. Yes, guys, this is what we do when we overthink all the time. We are creating problems. We are not solving them, we are not looking for solutions. So now many of you must be thinking, what happens if it is an overthinking? We all do it. Yes, but if it is more than required, obviously it leads to anxiety because we are worrying and we are apprehending that something negative will happen in the future. This leads to insecurity, anxiety. Obviously we feel low because we are unable to perceive a positive or we are unable to get out of a past regret. So depression, anxiety, and most importantly, OCD obsessions. These three are most common outcomes of our overthinking that we see in the psychiatric setup. So overthinking needs to be stopped and managed. Because yes, 
Over the thinking majors looked at the common symptoms, but it leads to major psychiatry disorders. So now management. First thing is I would like to talk about is my favorite concept of cognitive fusion. According to me, overthinking is basically you have a negative thought, you attend to it, you keep on thinking about it to a point that you start believing it to be true. So what happens is there is no distinction left between your thought and reality. You fuse both of them and you write about it. So the first step of management is cognitive diffusion. Whenever we have a negative thought, we just have to ask ourselves that is this thought right? Is it actually happening? Is it a fact? And when you know it is not, then just acknowledge it. This is my thought. This is not a reality. I will not pay attention to it. So if we can successfully do cognitive diffusion, other techniques may not be required to that extent. But yes, you have to change the story you tell yourself. Basically, we are making up a story in overthinking. So we can just modify it and make it a little positive. So if our story is my friend is ignoring me, we can make a next story that she really cares for me. Maybe she is going for a difficult time. Let's wait for it to get over and let's support her till then. So this story will make you feel better. Reduce your overthinking. Let go of the past. Understand you cannot go back. We don't have a time machine to go back in time and change the past. So just accept that you made a mistake. It was an awkward moment and it's over. No one is going to remember it. All of us have too much of daily hassles to remember. To just forget your awkward situation would be a moment for them. So you also forget it. Stop your thought in the moment. Yes. Whenever overthinking happens, just remind yourself, thinking about it, I'm wasting my present time and get back to work. Maybe you can make a worry time once for 5 minutes in a day and at that time you can think of all your concerns. So you are actually reducing the time for overthinking to 5 to 10 minutes in a day rather than the whole day. And you can use the whole day constructively. Focus on what you can control. Yes. So if there is a problem, you think of it whether it can be solved or not. So if you think problem can be solved, let's look for a constructive solution and apply it. So if a problem is over, overthinking will not happen because you are worrying over it. If you know problem cannot be solved, just accept it, acknowledge the thought and move on with the present. Because we can only improve our future if we work in the present. And it's important to enjoy the present. Next is identify your fears. So most of the time overthinking happens because we fear something. We fear that a person might leave me. We fear that a friend might not talk to me tomorrow. We fear that maybe we will not get a good job, we won't have a good career. So just acknowledge the fear and think of the worst consequence. Okay, if this doesn't happen, what is my plan B? So think of an action for the consequence of your fear and your fear will automatically reduce. Then you won't be bothered by your thinking. Write down solution. That is very important. Instead of worrying over the problem which we do in overthinking, just sit down and give all the energy that you are spending on overthinking to solving the problem, finding a solution to your problem. Next is make the decision to become a person of action. Tell yourself that instead of worrying and wasting my time, I will take actions. And try to keep your mind as busy as possible. When you feel that you are having overthinking, my thing is I am not asking you to start working because it might find very rude or you might find that I am so tense and this lady is asking me to study or maybe work. But maybe you can start watching the thriller web series or start playing a game like Sudoku or something that involves your thought. So when your mind is totally engaged, then obviously thoughts will come mess up. So these are few of the solutions from my side. While overthinking, just remember one thing. No amount of anxiety can change the future. No amount of regret can change the past. So let's stop overthinking and let's get into action. Thank you so much.